add, subtract, multiply and divide fractions. I am Anil Kumar and we will do all these operations together with the help of these examples. Part A is 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3 divided by 3 over 4 minus 1 over 3. And part B is 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3 divided by 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2. Well, at this stage you can pause the video, solve and then look into my suggestion. Let's start with A. Now to add the numerators, we need common denominator, which we can of course get by multiplying the first one by 3's, right? And the other one by 2's. That's kind of cross multiply. As far as the denominator is concerned, we should be multiplying the first one by 3, right? And the other one by correct this number let's do it so we get 3 over 3 times 2 6 plus 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 2 6 you see we get a common denominator of 6 now in the denominator part we have to take away 3 over 4 from we have to take away 1 over 3 from 3 over 4 making a common denominator of 12 4 times 3 so we'll multiply first terms by 3. So we get 9 over 12, take away 4 over 12, right? So that's what we get. Since we have common denominators, we can do addition and subtraction. 3 plus 4 is 7, so we get 7 over 6 in the numerator. 9 take away 4 is 5, 5 over 12. So we have 7 over 6 divide by 5 over 12. We have 7 over 6 divide by 5 over 12, which is same as times 12 over 5. Correct? So, division is same as multiplication by its reciprocal. Now, we can simplify a bit. Dividing by 6, we get 1 and 2. Correct? With that, we get a result. 7 times 2 as equal to 14 and 5 times 1 is 5. Since the result is improper fraction, we should convert it to mixed number. So 5 times 2 is 10, remainder is 4. So we get 2, 4 over 5. That's it. So that is how you do all these operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Now this one. 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3 divided by 3 over 4 plus half. I'd like you to pause the video, try it on your own. Well. Here is a quick solution. I am not explaining the steps much, but just giving you the solution. 4 and 3, denominator common should be 12. So we will multiply the first term by 3. We get 9 over 12, take away. Second term should be multiplied by 4. 8 over 12, divided by 4 and 2, common denominator is 4. So 3 over 4 is good for us. Plus, we need to multiply these by 2. 2 over 4. That gives us 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 over 12 divided by 2 plus 3 is 5 over 4. Now we have got 1 over 12 divided by, we got 1 over 12 divided by 5 over 4, which is same as multiplied by 4 over 5. Simplifying, dividing by 4, we get 3 and 1, right? So the answer should be 1 over 15. I hope you got exactly the same answer. Thank you and all the best.